On today's episode of Fly Hacks, we are going to be rhyming by saying things like thin to win. I need a new haircut, and uh, we're going to be tying a fly called the Headless Horseman. So stay tuned. Do people even tune into things anymore? It's like an old school thing, whatever. Today's tip is uh, really just a, a wordy kind of tip. Uh, the headless horseman is only a ratio. I almost want to say I'm just straight ripping somebody off here. I don't know who came up with the idea to wrap thread around a hook and then wrap a wire around the hook. So I can't give those guys credit. If you're a fly tire and you want to kind of push the, the sport forward, you got to do little tiny things to change something old to make it new. People are going to tell you that you need to fish 24 to 32 flies to fish specific uh, uh, tail water. It does not require a size 24 fly, it doesn't require a 20, uh, or 32 fly. It does require a fly of the right ratio and we're going to tie a gigantic thread midge essentially. So I'm going to totally rip somebody off and add a little bit of material to uh, uh, something that's already been done before and we're going to tie a fly called the Headless Horseman. All right, today we are going to tie the Headless Horseman. This hook is a TMCO 206 BLB, size 18. You can do a 20s, but I wouldn't recommend it because 20s are a little too short in the shank. I recommend like a size 20, 200R or something with a thin wire. Uh, our thread is going to be a um, UTC 70. It's light olive, I think. I can't really tell. Um, wrap this just behind the eye. This is where you're gonna do the taper for the head. Uh, now the reason we're using UTC 70 is so that we can see through this thread because this thread is somewhat transparent um, and we're going to use that to our benefit. We're also trying to tie this fly as thin as possible because we're looking for the uh, length to width ratio of a natural fly. This is wine UTC extra small thread. And we're going to wrap that all the way to the back to where it turns just a little bit. Grab a piece of pearl flashaboo. Tie this guy in. Now, when you wrap this, you want to wrap over the next wrap backwards. So you're going to continue wrapping it toward the back of the hook. This keeps you from overlapping the other wraps before and then overlapping them again when you work the thread forward. So then wrap your thread forward. You're gonna give it kind of a, a solid background, I guess, to work on. This is kind of an introduction into trying four-dimensional flies. So not only do you have length and width, but you have, or length, width, and depth of the fly, you have depth inside the fly. So take your flashaboo and you're gonna wrap this around the shank of the hook all the way to the eye. And you can overlap these if you want a brighter body, but you still want it partially muted by the thread. <coughs> now you're going to spiral wrap. Leave your flash hanging off the front. And spiral wrap your thread back. Doesn't have to look super pretty. When you get to the back, you're going to touch the thread turns all the way back up to the hook. Now this is not hiding the flash entirely, but it is masking the flash ever so slightly. Good. Take your wine extra small thread, uh, continue same direction, wrap it forward. Uh, it doesn't matter how many turns because trout can't count. You just want to make this thing look alive. All you're going for. And then you want to drift it into a, a vicious mouth, essentially. A couple wraps. Cut off your wine thread. Keep your flashaboo there. Wrap this guy backwards. This fly does not take very long to tie. Just as a heads up. And now you're going to build up a head. And you want it to be kind of obviously larger than the rest of the fly. And it gives it 
It makes it look a little bit more real. So you got a bunch of legs and crap on a real fly, and this fly has no legs and crap. I guess it could kind of look like a chronomid, but it's more designed to look like a BWO. Two wraps on top, two wraps forward. Chop your flash off. It's going to keep it sitting straight up or to the back. And you're going to whip finish here. Now don't be too concerned about whip finishing this thing to dust. I mean, you're not... Uh, it's not going to fall apart. So you got your little shiny guy there. And then you're going to take some Sally Hansen's Ultimate Shield because you too shop in the ladies section of uh, stores to buy makeup. And then we're going to touch this around. I still got the drop sitting on my finger. But you know what? That's good. So I'm just going to eat that drop right there. And I don't want this to be... I don't want it to take away from the uh, dimensionality of the wire on the fly. All I want it to do is cover all that thread, soak in there, and allow that flash to shine through a little bit more. And you can really see that in this fly. And uh, it makes it really effective to get a little bit of attention, but not to get so much attention that a trout is like, whoa, dude, you need to chill the out right now, all right? If you can't use a size 22 parachute atoms, or, or trico or whatever, then just don't even fish it. If it's that specific, take pressure off of it. Jeez, really. 